Hey, 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 it's another Sunday night. Yes, it is. Already the week is gone. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here. I'm on location. I'm from the Empowered Spirit Circle and Natural Forces Studio. Come on in. Let's focus our energy for the week and let's talk about what's going on. What are you feeling? What are you noticing? It's March. Yay! I know I'm feeling very glad about that energy of March coming forward. What are you feeling? What are you noticing? Come on in, say hello, post below, let me know what's going on. How has your week been? I know for me it's been very lively, it's been very uplifting. I'm actually up in Charlotte having a Biz Club retreat. It, that's been intense. Talking about work and expanding your vision and just looking at where you stand in life. Yes, perfect timing for where we are right now. Really perfect timing. We're coming out of winter. In March, we start to open up. That little seed starts to come out. And sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's very difficult, right, to open up to who you are coming out of winter. And that's some of the energy that we have going on right now. Um, what are you feeling, <laughs> right? That's one of the big questions I keep asking because I think it's important that we check in and see where we are. The winter season can be all about going deep. So as March comes along, sometimes it's hard to open up that energy back to spring. So we have to begin to open up and begin to understand where we are. And sometimes it takes a lot of effort and a lot of energy, which is kind of what we're going to go through this week. We're in that energy of letting go of winter, right? Still got a little bit of that emotional release, letting go and really getting out there, ready to go, plant those seeds. So we're in both of that kind of energies for us right now. We really are. So what are you noticing for yourself? What are you feeling? All right. Are you feeling a lot of that action? Or are you still being pulled? So we have a little bit of that push pull energy going forward for all of us. So noticing where you are can help you to open up to where we are in the seasons. I know I posted the Mystic Mama uh, letter blog post, that's what it is, <laughs> blog post, I posted that. And she talked about that creative energy, really opening up to that kind of in energy and what you're feeling. And I love that because as a creative person, it helps me to understand a little bit of that energy for me. Sometimes in creativity, now we talked about this when we did the series on the Empowered Spirit Show, sometimes that creative energy can put us on the edge and can make us feel a little uneasy about opening up to that energy. But that's what is going on right now for us in terms of how do we move through this last part of winter? How do we open up to the spring energy? What is this all about? And what are some of the tools that we can use for it? So I think that when we get into that creative energy of who we are, right, it gives us a little thing to do, it opens up. Hey there, Miss Lori Z, how are you, Miss Z girl? It helps us to open up and come into that new season. I think that's really important. And when we use that creative energy, I think it really helps us to, you know, get out there, do stuff, be creative, open up to that energy, and then we can move through that new season. And that's what it's about. It's moving through that new season. I think it's important that we do that. I'm gonna go ahead and share this for a moment. All right, I'm gonna share it in my group. And if you're not in my Empowered Spirit group, come on over and join us. We're gonna be starting, or I'm gonna be starting a challenge really soon on helping you to build your, your um, spiritual practice, giving you some tools. And we're gonna do that over in the Empowered Spirit Circle. All right, no charge, just come on over. We're gonna do that. We're gonna start it right around the week of the equinox when it comes in on the 21st. We're gonna build that energy. So I want you to come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle and join us in that group. All right, I got one more share. Share on my theme, share on my thread. Here we go, share on my timeline. And if you know of somebody too that could use some energy and some healing this weekend, pulling the energy together, go ahead and share it with them too. It always helps to share, definitely helps. All right, I see Lori's there, I see some people coming in. So come on over and join us. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Hey, Sam, how are you? I miss you guys. I've been up in Charlotte this week really learning so much more about putting that business forward, that energy, especially as a spiritual business owner. How do we do that? How do we stand in the vision? And let me tell you, my coach took me super big this weekend, man. We were up there and it's not easy. But when you can open up to that vision, when you can raise your vibration, yep, got a heart's there. Really, that's how we step into it. So yes, I'll be bringing some of this back with me when I get there, when I come back. 
really intense, all right? I'll admit, I did a little crying myself looking at where I was and where I was holding back and playing small and yeah, hearing these messages from spirit come forward, you know? The more I do my work, and I do have a mission, right? You guys know this. Bringing spirituality out into everyday life, that's a big vision. And yeah, what do I need to do to support that? What do I need to do to really create that movement, create that tipping point? We were super lucky. We have Alex Ortner from The Tapping Solution here with us this weekend. He's actually joining in a part of this group that we're in. So we had some really great expertise and advice from him coming forward too. He's the one that does all the marketing behind The Tapping Solution with his brother, Nick Ortner and Jessica Ortner. So they were here. I can guarantee you we did a lot of tapping, definitely. So just thinking a little bit about where you are right now, post below, where are you feeling? Are you ready to move forward in spring? Do you feel like you're just waiting? Are you just kind of like, oh, not yet? Are you feeling a little lazy about your energy? Where are you? So I kind of need to know where we can go with the meditation today. Just kind of post below, let me know. It'd be very helpful. I know for myself, I'm caught a little bit in between. I am excited. I do have some new stuff coming forward. So for me, it's about doing some of that practical work, doing some of the logistical work, right? And as I do that, I start to lift my energy up and get out there, feel that sun rising earlier every day, really stepping up to the plate with my meditation and getting up there and getting myself to rise up earlier too. That's one of the ways that we can do it. Definitely. So as we go through this week, we're going to feel a little bit of that push-pull, all right? Tomorrow we're going to feel a little bit of that. We're still finishing out that full moon energy, right? So we're going to feel a little bit of that moving out of the weekend. We might feel even a little bit sluggish going into Monday and just a little bit of resistance. So maybe even tapping on that resistance to the work week. That might be helpful for you. And then as we begin to move through the week, we're going to lighten up a little bit on that. We're going to come into some of that creative energy that March is all about, especially as we get towards the end of the week. All right. So really important that you start to help yourself with your energy and what is going on all around you and know when to push, know when to pull back, know when to be in that middle ground, know when to move forward. That's what all of this energy for this week is really asking us to look at and know where you're feeling and what you're feeling. Very important. So hopefully that's going to be helpful for you as well as you move through this week, where to put your energy right? Don't just put it all over the place. Many of us want to do that, but really how you can use it to your greatest advantage as you move through the week and build upon the task which you have to do. All right, so I'd like to jump into the meditation, do some cards. I have some people waiting on me. We're not quite finished with the group. So I just wanted to kind of jump in, say hello, do a meditation, and then we'll look at the cards. One thing I did want to mention is that if you haven't had a chance to listen to the podcast this week, I talk about a spiritual experience. And I'm just curious if you listened to it, what you thought about it. I'd love to hear your comments. I'd also like to know if you've had spiritual experiences and what that does for you. Does that experience empower you to know more about yourself? Does it empower you to make choices in your life? Or just really confirm where you are in the existence of this human plane that we're in. So check it out. It was a spiritual experience. I share a story. Many of you have heard me talk about it, but I do put it on the podcast this week. And I would love to interview you. I'd love to have you come on and talk about your spiritual experience with me as well. So if you go to my website, terryannhyman.com, on the contact page, you can put that um, information in the message. All right, so definitely let me know. I Brooke made a comment here that she feels like she's still gathering information to move forward in career rise. Good. All right. So it is a time to, to get ready to plant some of that information. So gather those seeds together so that you can begin to do it. Hey, Thelma, how are you too? All right. So definitely check out that spiritual experience and let me know what you think. And if you have something to share with me, I'd love to do an interview with you about your story on that as well. Coming up next week, um, I actually have somebody on Wednesday. She's going to be talking about talking about the energy of parenting. Like, do you ever find yourself feeling like your mother or saying something that your mother would say or carrying on that pattern? She works in the Akashic Records, and she's going to be talking about how we can use this kind of energy to help you better to help you create a better relationship with your child. So very excited for that. Ebony Rose, all right, is her name. She's out of Texas. She's going to be with us on Wednesday. So be sure to check out that. And again, please do let me know what you think about that spiritual experience and if you'd like to share one as well. All right, so I don't have my bowls. I don't have my sage. I am on location. But let's just take a minute and center our energy. So wherever you are, if you can, just take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale out. 
Bring all the energy in from the week, all from the weekend. Pull it in. I know the weekend, Sunday night can be a little bit anxiety producing. So just pull that energy in. As you breathe, breathe up from the earth. Feel it move through the body. Open up to the heavens. And as you exhale, pull it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Just begin to center your energy, inhaling, pulling it up through the body, up into the heavens. And as you exhale, send that breath all the way back down through the feet, deep into the earth, deep into the roots of the earth. Inhaling, opening up, expanding that breath as we tap in and call in divine spirit, our masters, our teachers, call in your own spirit guides. Ask for guidance as you move through this week, as we honor these last few weeks of the winter. We honor the direction of the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center. Opening up your heart as you call in these guides for you as you move through this week. And just begin to feel your energy pulling in, releasing that excess stress and worry, all of that stuff. I know I just saw Jen come on. If you've been in with the Biz Club too this weekend, just let go of the excess. Let go of what you don't need. Just let it fall away and hold on. Hold on to those little bits, those gems, that part that really resonates with your vibration right now. Inhaling and exhaling and take a moment and honor where you are right now right now at the very end of winter just for a moment have gratitude have gratitude for that depth that you went through this winter for that ability to pull your energy in to dream offer some gratitude for the seasons maybe it got you a little blue maybe it got you a little isolated but just offer the gratitude for it showing up inhaling and exhaling and as we offer that gratitude we can begin to offer gratitude for the new season that's ahead gratitude for being able to put our energy out all over brand new start again plant some seeds that's coming we don't have to be in a rush we can allow these few weeks to open up that energy to center within and to exhale release out we don't have to bring everything from the winter with us. We can let go. What can you leave behind? Taking another deep inhale and exhale. And just feel yourself centering. Feel that spiritual body coming in alignment. Pull it in. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet on the ground. Feel yourself grounding. Feel yourself releasing the excess so that you can open up to a new week. Inhaling, bringing your energy back, and exhaling. Feel the lightness, feel the centering coming back. All right, so we did draw some really good cards for the week. If you haven't picked a card, we're using the Wild Unknown. Choose a number one, two, or three, and we'll see what it holds for you. Kind of asking for guidance. The question I posed was just asking for guidance coming out of winter what is it that you could use what kind of information can come forward so the anchor card for all of us which will center the reading around is the judgment card and i love this for this time of year because this is really this is about letting go this is about forgiveness all right it's not judging right or wrong or feeling like you have to sit in that position but it's really about letting go forgiving whatever energy has been dark for you see all this down here whatever energy has been dark like, thank you for showing up, like we were saying. Forgive that energy. Let it go so you can open up. Freedom. See that bigger picture coming up? You can open up to a bigger part of who you are. When you free that energy, when you forgive that energy, it frees so many other energies inside of you and others as well. So that's a great card to look at as you come out of the winter, right? Where can you forgive yourself? Where's some of that darkness? I think that's a place to go with this card. Where's some of that darkness that's been holding you back. And as the spring comes around and as that light shifts and change, where can you shift that energy and open up through forgiveness to that higher part? Have that aha moment. That's also what this card represents. So if we use that as our anchor card, we say, how do we do that, right? So the first card, if you chose one, is the, is the six of cups, all right? Now I love this card because this card kind of looks to our roots of who we are. 
all right? The cups are in our heart. It's that water element. So sometimes within our own family, right, that generational energy can come forward and we can hold on to it. Oh, I kind of like what you're talking about for what we'll be talking about on the podcast this week. How funny is that? Like, oh, this is just like my mother. This is just like my family energy. This is what I'm carrying. So if we also remember that, that you know, sometimes that depth of who we are, we can bring it forward in a more loving way. Think about the good memories that you had as a child. Think about what really did boost you up. What did you like to do? And that's what we want to grow and bring forward. That's where that forgiveness can let go of the other hard drudgery part and open up and bring that forward for you. Six or two threes, all right? So where's also that community of energy for you to grow and for you to love and feel that richness come forward so that you can, again, free up that energy? All right, if you drew card number two, the card that's coming forward for you to have that aha moment and get out of all that forgiveness too, is to know that the wheel of fortune is what came forward for you. I love when this card comes up. You see right there in the center, this is all about like this new idea is coming forward from you. The wheel is turning. So just really keep that vision as you open up to spring and let that vision come out, come forward. It's got the owl, the moon, the sun. And if you see that center, there's some activity going on in that center. Trust that wheel is turning for you, all right? And as you do, you can release the excess energy. Have that aha moment of where it is you will be focusing when that spring energy really comes on strong for you. So keep doing that work. It's coming forward and coming to that wheel turns, right? Why well, is grateful when it turns, right? No matter where you are. So that was the second card. Now, if you drew card number three, if you chose three, I love this. Ace of Wands, new beginning, especially in that passion. Lots of growth. Look at that. Look at the, how the wand has the trees, the buds coming out. Look at that red and the orange, very vibrant. So know that as you let go of that old dark energy, this is what comes forward. Really worth it. Really the reward to letting that go is to open up to that vibrant, that new thought. Well, this is actually the one. So that's that new passion, that new desire. Even I like to look at the spiritual energy coming forward. So yay, Sam said she drew the two. Yes, Sam, keep your vision there. Keep that wheel turning. And as you do, also take in some of this too. It is time to plant those new thoughts. Bring that forward. And we have to do that by letting go of the darkness, right? We can't hold on to that darkness as we emerge out of spring, all right? We process it. We heal from it. That's what we do. All right. All right. Z girl has the ace of wands. All right. So where can that new passion, that fire energy come forward for you as we move into this new season? Beautiful card. So as we look at it as a whole picture and the whole story for us for this week, figure out where you are in that darkness. All right. What is holding you back and release it. Offer gratitude. Even if you're not sure of it, just gratitude. It's an ascending emotion. And as you offer gratitude to the darkness, the light emerges and that frees so much energy. As you free your energy, you can return to what was it in your childhood that was fun. What are those deep roots you do want to carry forward? Because the darkness, remember, falls away. Open your heart to those parts that you can build. Okay, and then what are you working on? That wheel's turning. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. No, a new season is opening up. So start to pull it in, kind of like we were focusing our energy on the meditation. Focus that energy, feel that whirl so as spring comes, you can put it out into the universe. That wheel turns and we offer gratitude for this. It was upright when we drew it, which means, yeah, you're moving to that place where you're on top. We honor gratitude, it'll turn. We honor gratitude if we feel like we're on the bottom, it'll turn. So keep the gratitude in that wheel turning and moving forward. That is your path and your choice. And then the third card is all those new expressions. Those will be coming forward. So pull your energy in, release the darkness, know that as you build this that's kind of the reward as you build this to put forward new ideas they will be received very well from the universe right that's what we're going to be moving into in the spring definitely beautiful cards for all of us this week yay i'm really glad i love seeing those that drew the ones that are very fitting definitely really nice really open up to the new season that's ahead I just love this because this is what is so important. We've worked on this today in Biz Club too. What are some of those darknesses? What are some of those things that are holding your vision back, right? I had to stand in a lot of mine and I hold this space for you guys to do the same thing. What is your vision for the spring? How can you expand that and move it forward? What are those experiences in your life? Where is that spiritual experience for you? Where is that alignment of time, of space, of light? Where is that alignment that you can open up to and know that energy for your own purpose right now? Really important. 
Let's see, I have someone asking for a request of a card. Thelma, okay, Thelma, how are you? Let's see where my cards are. Kind of on a, I'm on location. <laughs> All right, Thelma, here we go. Here's an extra card for you. So the card that comes forward is the Mother of Swords. All right, we love this card. All right, this is someone who's very detail-oriented, has a lot of wisdom, a lot of things that she observes. We always do remind ourselves not to get too picky on ourselves when this card comes forward. So take the information, be sure to open up a little bit with that vision. Details are great, all right? So what details can you move forward as you come out of winter and into spring? Just be careful that you don't get too picky on yourself, all right? Or on others. Really important when we see that, that Mother of Swords coming forward, all right? Yes, parenting. We'll be talking about parenting this week on the Empowered Spirit Show. I'm really excited for this guest. I love how she's using the Akashic Records to help us break those imprints of our generational habits that we take on, sometimes without even realizing. All right, let's see. Anybody else? I'm going to cut this short, but if anybody else wants a card, speak now. One for me. Who was that? I see somebody. Lori. All right, Ms. Z, girl, you already got the Wheel of Fortune there. Let's see what else is coming forward for you. Did y'all practice this weekend? Did y'all practice? All right, Lori, I love this card. All right, using gratitude as a tool towards forgiveness. Yes, sounds amazing. All right, I love that, Brooke. Yes, it is. We talked about gratitude today. All right, Thelma, thanks. All right, so Lori, Lori, we have the eight. I love this card. We had it last week. The eight of the eight of spiders, the eight of pentacles. This is about just keep building that craft. Keep putting it out there. Use that spider web to attract all those who need your service. Keep building it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Great confirmation, especially with this card. See how nice they go together? They really do. Look at all those circles. So keep doing it and bring that new idea and inspiration into it as we move towards the spring. And yes, we will be doing that as we build that practice. Definitely. All right, Brooke, I do love that. I love that idea. And yes, I'll draw a card for you, my dear. This is going to help you with some of that thought on what to bring forward for the spring. All right, here we go. Brooke, the father of pentacles. All right, Brooke, this is a great card for you. Ground, 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 ground your energy. Trust in Mother Earth. Look at his antlers. Look at the rainbow. This is very powerful energy for you. So be that strong grounded person all right i know you can get up there in the air bring it down and ground with mother earth hopefully the weather's going to be nice maybe you'll be out of the lake i don't know but even if you're not be sure to get outside know that feeling of grounding with the earth and bring that into your week all right bring it into your business i know you girl bring it into your business so that you can be abundant and bring forth that energy all right i know this time of year gets a little hard for a lot of people especially in the work they do the taxes the money all of that people get a little bit holding on but keep that energy flowing know that it's there for you build the skills that you need to build for that abundance in your life very very important all right all right guys so we had some good cards come forward and i do i agree with brooke i think that best message is really that forgiveness and let go of that darkness especially as you come out of winter and into the spring really really important so do come on over to the empowered spirit circle i am going to be starting a uh, challenge the week of the equinox i will be doing equinox ceremony over at uh, birmingham yoga like we do that wednesday night um, but I'm going to be starting a challenge. So if you need a little inspiration, a little help in building your spiritual practice, definitely come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. I will be posting only in the group, though. I will be posting only in the group about the challenge, all right? All right, guys, take this energy. Go out into the world. Open up to your visions. Live your purpose. Yes, now it is time. Spirituality out into the everyday life. That's what we want to do. It will empower you. It will offer you the confidence and the courage to step forward. All right, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Have a great week. Post below how your week goes. Post in the group to your spirit. Namaste.